Hey everyone, today is Nell's are for the sorting ceremony prompt of the Harry Potter Nell Art Challenge, which is the challenge that I host every September on Instagram. I'll leave a link to the rules in the description in case any of you are interested in joining, but anyway, back to today's video. I wanted to do something with the four houses for this prompt, but since I had already painted most of the house crest, I decided to change it up a bit and just use silhouettes of the animals. So I started by just applying a base coat to each of my nails. Once that was dry, I painted each nail one of the colors of each house. I didn't have an actual bronze polish, so I just used a metallic brown for the base of my Ravenclaw nail. I painted my ring finger with a gold glitter polish for Gryffindor, and used a holographic black for the Hufflepuff nail. Finally, I painted my pointer fingernail with a silver hollow for Slytherin. After that, I just went back and applied another coat of each polish to make each nail opaque. Since I planned on using nail vinyls to add stripes over my base colors, I then applied a coat of top coat to each nail. The top coat protects the polish from being peeled up by the vinyls and prevents the base from being ruined. I allowed the top coat to dry for about half an hour before adding a series of straight nail vinyls to each nail. I used two different sizes of vinyls to give some variation to the stripes, but you can use whatever size you have. After I added the vinyls, I also applied a latex barrier around my nails to help make the cleanup a bit easier, and then I gently pressed down on the vinyls to smooth them out to ensure that there were no gaps between the vinyls and the surface of my nails. I then applied the second color of each house over the vinyls, so I used a blue glitter polish over the brown for Ravenclaw. I then immediately removed the vinyls and latex before the polish dried. Moving on to the next nail, I applied a red scattered hollow over the gold to represent Gryffindor and removed the vinyls. Some of the red polish leaked underneath these vinyls, so I just used a cleanup brush dipped in acetone to quickly remove the red while it was still wet. The top coat I applied earlier served as a barrier to protect the gold polish underneath. Then for the Hufflepuff nail, I added a yellow hollow over the black before removing the vinyls. Finally, I painted green over the silver on the Slytherin nail. When I removed these vinyls, I was reminded of why I actually hate using nail vinyls because the vinyls decided to pull up the polish underneath even though it was completely dry. Luckily, I was able to just press the polish back down and fix the stripes a bit using the polish brush. Once my nails were dry, I then added another coat of top coat to each nail. To reduce the chance of smearing the polish, I applied the top coat in the direction of the stripes. After the top coat dried, I moved on to the actual painting portion of these nails. So I started with the Ravenclaw nail and used white acrylic paint and a detail brush to just paint a very small outline of an eagle. So I decided to paint the houses based on the order that I feel I belong in each, and Ravenclaw is easily the house that I feel like, at this point in my life, I can identify with the least. Which is a bit odd, because I think that if I had been able to go to Hogwarts and been sorted at 11 years old, I probably would have actually been a Ravenclaw, maybe a Hufflepuff. But since I didn't actually start reading the Harry Potter books until I was about 15, and my priorities had changed quite a bit, Ravenclaw has been the one house that I just didn't feel the same connection to. But anyway, back to the actual nails. Once I finished the outline, I just filled it in with white, and then I later added a second coat of paint to make it more opaque. I then repeated the same process to paint the Gryffindor lion. So my relationship with Gryffindor is a bit different than Ravenclaw because when Pottermore first came out, I actually got sorted into Gryffindor, which was really confusing to me because I also don't really identify with it as much. I actually have no idea why I was sorted into Gryffindor because I've never exactly felt like bravery was my defining characteristic, and I remember that a lot of my friends were hoping to get Gryffindor and ended up in Hufflepuff or Slytherin, so I think a lot of people were probably unhappy with their initial Pottermore results. Moving on, I painted the Hufflepuff badger over the yellow and black stripes on my middle nail. When Pottermore changed its format a while back, I actually retook the sorting quiz and got placed in Hufflepuff, which I think is a much better fit over Gryffindor. Honestly, if I had to pick a house other than Slytherin, I would definitely want to be in Hufflepuff. 
I really appreciate a lot of the typical Hufflepuff traits, and I guess I can see some of them in myself, so I was a lot happier with this placement. Also, Tonks was a Hufflepuff, and she's my favorite character from the books, so that always helps. And finally, on my last note, I painted the Slytherin Serpent. While I do love Hufflepuff, when I first read the Harry Potter books, I really identified with the Slytherin traits of ambition, resourcefulness, and cunning the most. And when I took a quiz that contained a list of all the possible Pottermore questions, I was overwhelmingly a Slytherin, so I always just consider myself a Slytherin. As luck would have it, for these tales I was the most disappointed in how my own house's design turned out. I had previously done a Slytherin Pride Manny with a snake silhouette on it, so I wanted to make this one look a bit different. Unfortunately, I didn't have the foresight to realize that the silhouette of a coiled snake would just look like some sad mutant swan with a forked tongue. So if you want to see a tutorial on how to paint a silhouette that actually looks somewhat like a serpent, I'll leave a link to my other video below. To finish off this mani, I applied a final layer of top coat to each nail. I hope you liked this design, and be sure to leave a comment letting me know which Hogwarts house you're in.